Exploring the fascinating linkage between the evolution of language and its unique place within the human brain reveals intriguing questions. The crux of the matter lies in discerning why the human brain is uniquely adapted for language, although analogous regions involved in language exist in apes and monkeys too, who, however, do not use language too. Who, however, do not use language. Another supposition attributes this to our genetics. Mutations in FOXP gene can impede humans from forming entirely coherent sentences. It is within such regions that the language functions of our brain reside. From the spoken word to reading and writing evidence suggests that these regions house the symbol system, as language uses symbols to depict real-world concepts. An intriguing revelation is that these language regions in the human brain bear striking resemblance to analogous regions in other primates, notwithstanding humans being the only species to use language. In mirroring our brain structures, chimpanzees have homologues of the Bracas and Wernicke's areas that are dedicated to communication. Bracas area finds its usage in the planning and production of vocalizations in both chimpanzees and humans while Wernicke's area seemingly maps linguistic symbols and representations to distinct concepts. Wernicke's area, more similar in functionality between chimpanzees and humans than the Bracas area, suggests a more ancient evolutionary origin. To facilitate speech, the respiratory system must consciously override the automatic breathing function to produce vocal sounds. This adaptation explains the evolution of the human vocal tract to be more conducive to speech, with its lower larynx, a significant turn in the windpipe, and an accommodating round tongue. We believe that the dawn of language was entirely vocal, with reading and writing coming later. Groundbreaking research proposes that the merging of gestures and vocalizations might have bred more complex language amongst early humans. Broca's area in humans and similar regions in the brains of chimpanzees that make attention. Seeking sounds reveal comparable activations interestingly. Even non-vocal hand and mouth movements cause similar activation patterns in both human and monkey brain. Observing monkeys in action, the activation of mirror neurons has been noted in areas that correspond to the human Bracas area. Specialized groups of mirror neurons respond to specific types of viewed actions, and these are currently believed to represent an evolutionary precursor to neurons that have adapted to processing and producing speech. The evolution of early hominids may have included the development of abilities for non-semantic functions, which were subsequently adapted for the use of symbolic language. Let's talk about the possibility that evolution is not linear, but involves a complex process where capacities initially evolved for certain specific purposes are repurposed over time.